Have you ever wondered what rural life was like in America before all the technology that we know? I wonder all the time. When I see old barns and old cabins, when I see old tools, or I just think about a job and I think, how would you do that before we had the technology that we have today? I don't know all the answers, but I know someone who might have more answers recorded in his books than anyone else. And his name is Eric Sloan. So Eric Sloan was an artist. He was born in the early part of the 20th century and he was um, well known as part of the Hudson River School of Art. He was a painter. He painted rural landscapes. He painted clouds, skies, and weather. And then in the 50s, he bought this farmhouse and renovated it, this New England farmhouse. And he started to become fascinated with rural American life. Eric Sloan took this fascination and this research. He did a few things. He started writing books and his books just exude his excitement about history, the history of things, the history of procedures and techniques for getting jobs done, things that just will amaze you when you see them. He also started collecting tools and he collected a huge number of tools from early America. You can actually see a part of his tool collection in the Sloan Stanley Museum in Kent, Connecticut. Today I'm just going to share with you a few of my favorite books by Eric Sloan. And we'll start with one of his most famous. Diary of an Early American Boy, Noah Blake, 1805. In this book, Eric Sloan uses beautiful illustrations to show us the life of an early American boy through his journal entries. He shows us an overview of the Blake Farm, 1790. He shows us traditional wooden ladders used to get to the upper areas and barns. Here's a novel illustration on a tool to pull stumps and on using upturned stumps for long lasting fences called root fences. Here's an overview of four types of water wheels used for water power equipment. This wonderful book closes with an illustration of the winter of 1805 and shows us what the people are doing on and around the farm. Next, this is probably my favorite book I've ever seen by Eric Sloan and it's called Our Vanishing Landscape. And it talks about the changes that happened as technology came in and agriculture went out. It's an amazing book. In Our Vanishing Landscape, Eric Sloan talks about changes that have happened to our landscape that you wouldn't even know about because they've already happened. Here he tells a story about the Stuyvesant pear tree, one of the most famous trees historically in New York. It stood on the northeast corner of Third Avenue and 13th Street in Manhattan. Peter Stuyvesant planted it with his own hands in 1647, and for more than two centuries it lived and bore fruit. It was praised by journalists both here and abroad, and poets found it popular material. In 1867, two wagons collided and broke the trunk of the Stuyvesant pear tree bringing an end to its fruitful life of 220 years, to quote Eric Sloan. Here's a collection of what he calls outhouses on the farm, or outbuildings. An outdoor oven, a blacksmith shop, 
and so on. He talks about wind power and water power, the importance of canals in commerce in early America. He talks about the history of road building in the United States and its evolution from basic log roads to later plank roads. Last but not least, I'm going to show you a, an incredibly beautiful book called Age of Barns. And it shows you the history and evolution of barns in the United States. This is another one of my favorites. We see tools for barn building, early barn designs, log barns, and stone barns, round barns, and giant barns. This one's called the Big Barn. It was built in 1860 in Lyons Falls, New York. Barn framing and barn hinges. Tobacco barns grand and simple. I hope you enjoyed this really short look at one of my favorite authors and artists. I highly recommend you pick up one of his books. I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it. There's so much information in these books that you can't even learn from anyone who's alive today. That was another great day on the homestead. This video is like none we've ever done, but it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I'm sure you can tell that I'm passionate about this guy and his work. He's got a ton of other books. So just look into the amazing work of Eric Sloan.